Today's video is brought to you by Butt Pillow. Good morning, grains. Do I have a puffy face? Probably. Do I have bags under my eyes? Most likely. But you know what time it is? Mail time, time with Jackie. I feel like that sounds like the Jenna Marbles crafting with the old lady theme song. If she wants to come after me. Let's fight it out, Jenna. <laughs> So today we're going to be opening packages sent by you. I have a huge backlog, so please forgive me if you've sent something. It's gonna take me a while to get to them because y'all spoil me. So I wanna say thank you from the bottom of my heart. But be patient, it's gonna take me some time. And the first package we're opening is from H. Patterson from, I believe it's New Brunswick here in Canada. So a fellow Canadian grain. By the way, let me know what your grains have been up to this weekend or what you're going to be doing or if you've already done what you were supposed to do and you're just taking it easy today. So obviously I'm not. All right, oh, I feel something soft in here. Let's see if we can find a letter. That's stickers. Found the note. So this note is from Holly, who loves Angel when he picks my supplies and absolutely loves Sika as well. There is something in here for Sika, so I will definitely be giving that to her. That is an absolutely adorable plush. She is going to be really happy with this. That is super cute. That is so her aesthetic. Thank you so much, Holly. And then we have a bunch of stickers. We have these, ooh, I love the one with the crown. Oh, that is so cute. I love frogs. Fun fact, when I was 11 years old, we went camping and my nickname, since I was always playing with the frogs, away from all the other girls, I was not very social, even back then. Huh, good to know. My camp counselors actually called me Froggy because I was always hanging out with the frogs. And then we have some really cute fairies. These would make some really, really pretty resin pieces. And some puffy fruits. I feel like fruit stickers look way more delicious than fruits here in North America because fruits in North America just all taste like cucumber to me. Where's the sweetness? Oh, ooh, that is really cool. Next we have some Elmer's Sticky Jewels. That is really neat. I might want to use a couple of these on some sculptures. Since you can't really bake most jewels unless you know they're made out of glass, but most times you just don't. We have this guitar sticker. And last but not least, so we have a Diamond Dots bracelet kit. That is really cool. I love the fact that it's animal themed. So that makes it even way cooler. And it also says from ages 8 to 80. So if you're 81, get out of here! I'm joking, I don't make the rules. I'm, I'm just saying what's written. Next we have something from J. O'Toole from Pennsylvania. You grains are usually pretty good at wrapping things, so, which means it's harder for me to open. A box within a box. And ooh, I have the... <clears throat> oh, why is the salt coming out? Salt! This is not the place for it, please. As I was saying, I have the note. So I read the note. This is from Julia, who's a really strong and brave grain. Julia's been going through radiation and I got a chance to have a chat with her. So I'm really excited to check out what's in this box. And Ermi Gerd, no way. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. So Julia made me into a doll. That is really cool. And I love the sitting pose. And that is definitely something I would be wearing, which is kind of like a pajama, but not quite a pajama. That is my daily struggle. My hats don't always want to stay on my head. That is really cute. She's going to be sitting right next to me over here. And there seems to be something else in this box. Oh, we have a gigantic brownie salt shaker. What is this made of? can't tell what this is made of. That is really clever. It's pretty heavy. It feels like plaster, but I'm not quite sure. Julia, you'll have to let me know what this little salt shaker statue is made out of. It's gonna go behind me so you'll see it in videos. So thank you so much, Julia. I just sent your mom an email to get some updates on how you're doing. Next, we have a package from Darren from New York. This is a really big box, so I'm really interested to see. The description does say that it's a sculpture. I love seeing how talented you grains are. Why am I waving a sharp pointy thing at you? I don't know. Put this away, but be careful. Ooh, I have the note right away. Actually, I actually have two notes right away. Oh, and I have stickers. That's pretty cute. So this note is from Sedona, who is a 15-year-old grain. And yes, I do recognize you from your different handles on the different social media. And Sedona says that there is a sculpture in here that is inspired from all the different techniques that I helped you grains learn on my channel, I guess. I'm really excited to see, especially that I know how long sculptures take to make. I'm so, so, so excited. 
But also Sedona has a chubby kitty named Dove, crazy kitty named Noche, and a leopard gecko named Gobi. And Sedona hopes to become a zoo vet. That is something I can't do because I am pretty squeamish when it comes to anything being hurt. But Sedona says they have no issues with gore things, unlike me. I see a cut and I get a shiver throughout my whole body. Can't stand seeing anyone in pain. So the first thing I have here is a set of stickers and Sedona asks, what's the middle one? Is it a pink cat? Cactus. My guess at first glance, it really does look like a pink cactus, but I'm going to go out on a limb and say that it's probably supposed to be a chocolate chip cookie in a cup. Maybe because it's food themed? I don't know, but it does look like a pink cactus, that's for sure. All right, so the reveal, let's open this slowly. I can see napkins, I see cotton. I almost got scared because I thought this thing over here was a spider and I was about to lose my salt. <laughs> it's just a fluff. Okay, so we have more fluff. The best thing to ship sculptures with is usually bubble wrap. That is your best friend. Hopefully it's still safe. Oh, that is nicely packed. I see foam on the sides. <gasps> Oh my gosh. So we have a sculpture of Angel, my parrot. That is really, really neat. I know the struggles of sending sculptures. Oh my gosh. Don't worry, I will glue this. I am good at fixing things. I got this. So I will be definitely using, as you said in your letter, probably some glue or some epoxy. So this is really, really neat. I am sure I can fix this. So this is what it's supposed to look like with the tail. And I'm sure it's taken a lot of work because I can see individual feathers. So I'm really sad that this came broken, but I can fix this. So for the future, for those of you who want to send sculptures, trust me, I know, your best bet really is to glue the sculpture itself to a base that will not move. Trust me, glue it. And then make a border around it with cardboard or wood and then stuff packing peanuts so that it can't move at all. Even then, it's not really a guarantee because apparently postal services drop things from 30 feet. That's what one of you grains told me. So I'm like, 30 feet is a lot. Thank you for making that sculpture. I will fix it and I will post updates on Instagram. And now a package from Midrell from Switzerland. I really want to visit Switzerland one day. I actually really want to visit so many different countries. Germany, Switzerland, Austria, Netherlands. There are just way too many countries and places I want to visit. Okay, a box within a box. Y'all are so good at this. The only way I decorate my boxes is by putting stickers on them <laughs> and maybe doodling on them. Let me know, do you usually keep the boxes that are decorated or do you throw them away or do you throw them away and still feel bad about it? I always feel bad about throwing decorated boxes. So I still have boxes that are decorated because I feel absolutely terrible. Okay, and <laughs> that's cute. First thing I see is that it says Nerdy Crafter. Ooh, we have a wrapped present. Open with care. Why did I freeze? Oh, oh, I love this case. That is a really cool case. And I have the note, which I found at the bottom, and it says Switzerland and a Hello Kitty sticker. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So I open the letter and this is the first thing that pops out and it says this is my happy face. Ermigert, okay, I need to make merch with this, but I'm going to have a really cool drawing that goes with it. So I think this is a pretty good base for t-shirt or hoodies. Okay, I like this because I find that a lot of us might not look happy, but we're just in our zone, right? We have resting salt face. See what I did there? Thank you so much, Muriel, for the letter. So it does say Muriel. Sometimes I see the outside of the box and then I read the inside of the box and the names are different. So you like to take me for an emotional roller, co ro ro roller coaster. Englishing, please, today. And yes, I definitely feel like I am hanging out with friends when I make these videos. We have super cute kitty cat. These are puppy stickers. Okay, this Loch Ness monster is definitely a mood. That's me. I'm a monster, but I want to be cute sometimes. <laughs> Okay, so this here says open with care. I am not the most delicate person ever. Sika can confirm that. I'm being very delicate here. By the way, can we appreciate this wrapping paper? First of all, it's absolutely adorable and it's shiny. Who wouldn't like that? And it's good quality too. Unlike me, I use like dollar store wrapping paper. <laughs> Again, it says open carefully. If you're putting so much tape, how do you want me to be careful? Okay, I'm getting there. I'm just gonna find my cutter. One eternity later. All right, I think we're getting somewhere. And, oh, I just got goosebumps. Oh my God. Oh, that is so cute. 
We have Angel Burp in Perler Beads. I know how long it takes to make Perler Beads because I tried it and it takes so long. Why am I looking over there? I don't know because I'm probably reminiscing about making Perler Beads. But holy carp, that is so cute. I'm gonna put this somewhere where we can display it. It is absolutely adorable. And the thing is I can't show him this because he's scared for some reason. He's a chicken. I don't know what he thinks. Thank you so much. I love this. Yes. I love burp things. And then we have this really cool Pokemon case. I wonder what's inside. Let's find out together. Ooh, what's that? And inside there is a bunch of many mini envelopes. Let's see what's in this one. This one is said to be Relaxo. So let's open and see. Oh! Stickers of Snorlax! Oh, that is cute! Oh, I love that. Oh, I just dropped a Pokeball. <laughs> And there's quite a few of these, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna open these on my leisure relax time so that I don't tear through them since they're really well taped. And I absolutely love these. I always say they remind me of Pogs. I know they're not. This is beautiful. And then I have some Pokemon, but in German. Fun fact, I did take a class to learn, but... I wasn't good enough because it's don't let anyone fool you and tell you that it is a language very close to English because trust me depending on what you want to talk about it changes whether it's part of the subject of the sentence or the object of the sentence trust me it's tough is it me or every time I get a tin can I keep asking myself what kind of environment can I make inside and I feel like this would make a really cool Pokemon environment so I'm going to save this for perhaps a future project. The brain is working. And then we have this huge package from Gabriella. Remember, please, when you grains send anything, do not send it priority. Don't send it too quickly. These things take me forever to get to anyways. Please send it as slow as possible, even if it's by boat. Don't spend too much on this. And even just letters or drawings, they make my day. So I appreciate all the spoilage you sent me. Okay, what do we have here? Not what I think it is. I need to find the letter first. Hang on. There's no letter. No, Gabriella. Why is there no letter? Thank you so much. Okay, the first thing that really caught my attention, because they're really hard to find, and they, anyways, for me here, is a smushy, mushy baby. The last time I had one of these, I turned it into a cannibalistic monster of doom. So I'm really excited to take another baby squishy. And by the way, usually these smell pretty good. Still has like that after smell of, of synthetic chemicals, but the first smell is usually nice. So yeah, I'm, I'm really looking forward to unmake over this baby, and it comes with a cute little unicorn companion. What shall we do with it? Maybe it shall wear the unicorn. <laughs> What's wrong with me? Ooh. Then we have Bubble Pop Slimy Gloop and this kit was $3. Pop Fizz, I guess, Unicorn Bath Bomb. This one is $2. And last but not least, we have Squishy Soap Flamingo Edition. I think I did the unicorn one and it wasn't squishy like they said it was. Maybe this is a better version? I know you grains like to send me things so that I can release Salty Crafter, but I guess we'll find out. This one is $3. So these are three kits for $3 and under. But there's still no notes. So thank you so much. Gabriella and everyone who took the time to send me something it really does mean a lot to me to be able to connect with you in this way since the only other ways I have are through comment section and I really try to read as many as possible those of you who are new here this is my second channel not my first channel first channel is nerdy crafter get your butt over there first until then I will see you grains in the next video